Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to go through a little list of interesting quirks or secrets in a Mini Cooper S R56. So the first little um, quirk of owning one of these cars is that you do get ambient lighting. So it only comes on obviously when you've got your lights on, side lights or headlights. And um, you, do, you can change colour with this little switch here. There's only a few colours to choose from, so you start off with orange, goes into like a red, and then a pink, a purple, and a blue. And um, yeah, we didn't realise when we first bought the car that you could actually change the colours. So when we bought the car, it was pink. So we changed that, or, you know. We tend to switch it between orange and blue. But um, orange matches the rest of, you know, the clocks and stuff like that. So... Yeah, it's up here, so obviously you've got two lights there. You also got one above each airbag, sort of um, airbag on the pillar. And then you've also got one behind the door panel, uh, the door handle, sorry. So yeah, I thought that was um, quite neat. Quite neat of them to add a little ambient lighting for the Mini Cooper SR56. So another little interesting quirk is a little box underneath the center console that has a aux uh, port and a usb port neither of them work in in our car but um they might do in various other mini cooper s's but yeah so obviously you just plug in your aux which i've been told actually only works with um, iphones and ipod nanos of the era of the car so this being a 2008 it would probably only work with like the iPhone 3 or something like that. So that's a bit of a downer, but either way, I don't think the whole thing works in our car anyway. So we've just got one of these little things that tune up to your radio and you can play your own music through that. But yeah, we didn't realize that box was underneath there because you can't actually see it from any angle like here. So you can only see it if you properly look down and it's right under there. So another thing uh, with the car is that on your key fob, obviously you've got three buttons to lock it, unlock it, and the boot. You also have a little button on the back, which I'll go into in a second. Um, if you are out, outside or inside your car and your key's obviously not in the ignition, you can actually hold down your unlock button and it'll open both the windows. I don't think you can get them up with a key fob, but we'll try it anyway. Let's just hold that one down. No, nothing. So yeah, you can open your windows by holding down the unlock button on your key fob. Now going into that little button on the back of your key fob, if your car electrics die, so you have no central locking, just press that button on the back and you will reveal an actual key. So you just obviously put that into the door and unlock it from the outside. So this one is probably no longer a secret now because almost everyone knows about this. But on the dash here, you obviously have your normal glove box, which opens up down here. But if you actually push in on this panel here, it reveals a little secret compartment. So you just put in, you know, some documents or whatever that you want to keep safe or something like that. And yeah, I just thought that was pretty cool. So this next one is actually inside the glove box right at the back. You can see that little circle with the triangles cut out. You can actually turn that so you can have it all the way closed or open like I have. And what happens is air, so air con or the heater, wherever you have yours on, will actually blow out there as well. So you could put a drink in there or something like that and it might keep it cool. So that's quite interesting. I've never really seen that before or even heard that being a thing. So nice. So this next one, you're going again back to the key fob. Um, there is actually no other way other than your key fob to open the trunk or the boot of your car, which is again annoying. If your battery dies, you can't actually retrieve dump, uh, jump plate dump. <laughs> there is a rumor that there is a lever underneath the back seats um, that you pull to open the boot if your battery does die. But surely, you know, you'd think that they wouldn't make it all electric and you can actually open the boot of your car. So I'll show you now, obviously, that's the button there you would use to open the boot of the car. 
So we'll press that now. And as you heard there, it just unlocked the boot of the car. So we'll go over there now and have a look. We'll sit outside of the car now with the boot. Obviously the buttons under here, nothing. It's not opening at all. Yeah, for some reason it only opens on the key. So that's a bit annoying if your battery dies. And again, you want to retrieve some jump leads to start your car. So that leads me nicely on to the next one. So that's the open of your boot. And your car should come with a jack and the tools to jack up your car if your tire goes flat. But you go underneath, because of the center exhaust, there is no spare tire. But it's a four by pounds. So I've seen Mini Cooper S's do have bonnet scoops. In this one, there is actually holes that go through to the engine, but it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference because it doesn't feed directly into the air box. The actual cold air intake goes through here. But you can fit aftermarket air filters and stuff. So onto the last one of the list, which has to do something with the battery. So Most cars tend to have their battery either in the boot, typically BMWs, or under the bonnet. So this one technically is under the bonnet, but it's actually in here. My clips are broke, but the battery actually see, sits in there. Which is annoying because if you want to change anything, you have to actually remove this whole surround. And I've done it before and I've obviously had to tape it up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Just going through all the little secrets and quirks of a Mini Cooper SR56. And if you learned something new from this video, then please leave a like and I'll see you in the next video.